Brothers and sisters, I want to share a story with you. Once there was a king who received a gift of two magnificent falcons. They were peregrine falcons, the most beautiful birds he had ever seen. He gave the precious birds to his head falconer to be trained. Months passed and one day the head falconer informed the king that though one of the falcons were flying majestical, soaring high in the sky, the other bird had not moved from its branch since the day it had arrived. The king summoned all the healers and sorcerers and uh, the prayer warriors from all the land to tend to the falcon. But no one could make the bird fly. He presented the task to the member of his court, but the next day the king saw through the palace window that the bird had still not moved from its branch. Having tried everything else, the king thought to himself, Maybe I need to get the person who catches falcons and trains them. So he sent out to bring the man he bought the falcons from. And uh, so they went out into the mountains and searched for him and, and brought him back to the king. And the king was telling him, the problem he had with those birds. The next morning, the king comes out and looks through the window and he saw the falcon soaring high above the palace grounds, majestically. He was really surprised. So he sent men to bring the, the falcon falconer back and um, the court quickly located the falconer and brought him back before the king. And the king asked him, how did you make the falcon fly? With his head bowed down, the falconer said to the king, it was very easy, your highness. I simply cut the branch where the bird was sitting. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, God also cuts the branch we have been comfortably sitting on. Sometimes we suffer incredible betrayals from people who are very close to us. Sometimes we deal with breakups, divorces, separations. Sometimes we lose all of our properties and savings in a divorce. Sometimes a lawsuit brings us to our knees. Sometimes we become victims of unspeakable violence by another human being. Sometimes the behavior of our loved ones, our children, break our hearts. Sometimes our loved ones die. Sometimes we abruptly lose our livelihood. These are called trials. When we are faced with trials, God does not intend to disrupt or destroy our lives. He is only trying to take us out of our comfort zone so that we could break loose of our illusions of comfort, take off and so high in the sky even along with him. The first bird flew on its own, so can we. The falcon did not get caught up in the illusions of comfort. It knew that it was created to soar high in the sky majestically. This is where spirituality becomes meaningful in our lives. It helps us identify our illusions of reality 
and comfort. It helps us recognize the purpose for which we were created. It helps us liberate ourselves from all of our illusions. It helps us even unite with God. Something to ponder in our hearts, is it not? Thank you so much. This is Anthony. 